Hey, Shalom, Makim, Shalom, first thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor as due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakodash, double honors to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, blessings and salutations be to the hopeful elect. Real quick, Stakim, Mahalaya, come back with another lesson through the Spirit, which will be edifying. Um, it says here, another infectious disease at the door of America, call Halal Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. These plagues are, sw are swarming this place, man, in droves. They were talking about uh, the Black Plague or the Bubonic Plague months ago that they had a form of it out in California, no, Colorado, like one case. But notice they ain't really been speaking on that. That's kind of went under the radar and it's not been, you know, mainstream news, so to speak, because everybody's been focusing on, you know, COVID, et cetera. All right. So I'm very interested on how that's going to take off and how that's going to resurface, because we know a lot of these are... Uh, genetically manufactured we know that you know the patent of these particular illnesses are owned and controlled and oftentimes it's a lot of money to be generated from it okay but nonetheless there are judgments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to punish this place and the wickedness of our people and the other nations okay so um this is a beautiful thing this is the book it says here the sinners or the such and such control published a warning about an infectious disease that can cause what is it? Bokhodier Suda Somali bacterium. Okay. Now we know once this particular thing is involved, this here that I highlighted, when they are involved, we know that it's it's a weapon, basically. Okay, it's, it's a fucking weapon. These people get involved in it. Anytime they hand us in anything, these things are being used as a weapon, as a tool. You see? And people are not smart enough to put two and two together to know that all these particular whatever you want to I'm going to say all these particular uh, illnesses are started right here in this place like if you walk look at the TV series The Walking Dead which I'm going to get back into that Lord's will but uh, you watch The Walking Dead they show you straightforward um, um, that they were responsible for that outbreak okay but anyway it says they confirmed Prevention has confirmed that the health officials from various states have tried to find a common source of exposure to numerous cases of a daily disease known as uh, what they call metallosis or Whittemore's disease that can be highly infectious. Of course, it says that multiple cases of metallosis were found in Texas, Georgia, Kansas, and Minnesota. Kansas is a state over. Okay, now we don't know what part of Kansas, but nonetheless, hey, that's right next door to Missouri. You got Wyoming, you got Colorado. You got these surrounding states, okay? Uh, Texas, you got Georgia down south. So if you notice, these are hidden strategic points in the country. So that way, if it is a, a surge, it can easily spread, all right? I'm just surprised they didn't say New York or Maryland or somewhere on the East Coast. But anyway, reading down, it says scientific studies states that the regions of the southern United States, particularly Texas, may have the perfect climate to host the this B Sudamali or Madalay or Madalay, it says it would be necessary to identify the bacteria in environmental samples to determine if this epidemic in the United States. But nevertheless, it is also understandable that this is present somewhere in Texas and has not yet been found yet. Okay, so it says you can get a mediolosis if you come in close contact with contaminated soil water, breathing harming harmful dust or water droplets, ingestion of dirty water and soil affected food or a contact with contaminated soil assumed to be routes of affection for the humans and animals. It says people with the weakened immune system, such as AIDS, cancers, those undergoing chemotherapy, open skin wounds, diabetes, or chronic renal disease should contact soil, uh, should not contact soil and contaminated water, mainly in farm areas. It says the symptoms of this is cough, fever, diarrhea, seizures, stomach or chest pain, eucalyptus on the skin. Basically the same symptoms as you know what. Same goddamn thing. And what's so weird about this is the fact they say that it's in soil infected food, breathing harmful dust or water droplets, but that's basically pollution or chemicals. Okay, you got pesticides and everything, insecticides, they're spraying barium oxide in the heavens. Okay, they're, they're, you're breathing in, you're eating GMO foods. I mean, we all are sick. Okay, because your body is not performing to the potential that it was designed to, man. You know, like Jake could drink water and get bloated, man. That's unheard of. <laughs>
But it's because, man, your, your gastrointestinal tract is, is, is compromised due to the chemicals you're, you're ingesting, you know? So anyway, um, they going to downplay it because they want everything to be on the big C word. But nonetheless, the most high is plague in this place. But plague got the plague got the plague. Okay, so real quick, this is the book of uh, Exodus 9 and 12. It says, And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh and hearkened not unto them as the Lord had spoken to Moses. And Moses said, No, and the Lord said unto Moses, It says, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says the Lord Yahweh or Yahweh powers of the Hebrews, let my people go that they may save, uh, serve me. Now, then the scriptures say that the prophets are rising up in the morning and the Lord sent them early, roughly paraphrasing. Like right now, it's early in the morning and we're doing shows, sometimes late at night. Okay, so we're standing before Pharaoh, which is the so-called white man in his present time, saying, look, man, the Most High is going to destroy you. We ain't telling you to let us go. We're telling you the Most High is going to come and take us from you. Okay, and you're going to be destroyed ultimately. So you have a horrific punishment coming, Esau. Okay. And it says here, for this, at this time, I will send all my plagues upon thy heart and upon thy servants and upon thy people, that thou mayest know that there is none like me in the earth. Okay. So the Lord is going to make his name known once again. For it's said and done, everybody's going to know the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that the Hebrew Israelites proclaimed on the street corners. Okay. It says here, for now. I will stretch out my hand that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence and thou should be cut off from the earth. Okay. It says in very deed for this cause I have raised thee up for to show thee my power and the name may be declared throughout all the earth. Okay. So a hey, the most high is bringing the freaking plagues left and right. This place is going to be surrounded in plagues by the time the Lord comes back. And the ultimate plague being that of the nuclear missiles. That's the main plague. It says, and for this very deed, I read that it says, and yet thou exalt thyself against my people, that thou will not let them go. So behold, tomorrow, about this time, I will cause it to rain a very grievous hell, such as has not been in Egypt since the foundation thereof, even until now. Okay, so A, hey, the Most High, he's sending the plagues on Babylon a great. So you can expect more and more plagues to circumvent Babylon. All right. This is the book of Matthew 24. And I'm going to end it after this. It says uh, 24 and 4. It says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many should come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and should deceive many. And you should hear wars and rumors of wars, but see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation. Okay, we're saying that in the form of these uh, riots and these uh, world war tensions. Okay, geopolitics, war, strategic planning, etc. Weapon uh, nations are testing weapons of mass destruction, creating weapons. You know, it says in kingdom against kingdom, and there should be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So we look up the word pestilence in the Greek. We're gonna get um, where is it? I hear aloemos, aloemos. Let's see how they pronounce it. Strong's G, 3061. Loimas. 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 All right, and see what it means here. It says pestilence, a pestilent fellow, a pest or a plague. All right, so look up this here. It says fatal epidemic disease, especially bubonic plague. Okay, so these things are coming in the earth. The Lord said it, you know, so can't get around it. Same thing, a plague. A contagious bacterial disease characterized by fever and delirium, typically with the formation of, uh, what is it, buboes, bubonic plague, and sometimes infection of the lungs, which means pneumonic plague, outbreak of a plague, they died of the plague, a contagious disease that spreads rapidly and kills many people, such as such, what they're talking about in the news, which, you know, they're uh, overcutting it, but we get it. It says an unusually large number of insects or animals Infesting the place and causing damage, plagues of fleas, okay, like you have a plague of gnats, plagues of grasshoppers, plagues of, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, crickets, like it's a movie out on Netflix right now that I need to watch, it's called Swarm, it's about these killer uh, locusts, alright, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, Lord's well, I'll check it out when I get a chance, you know, um, it says things causing troubles or irritation, staff theft is usually the plague of restaurants, etc., verb, plague, plaguing, Continue trouble or distress. Use as a curse or an expression of despair or disgust. The Lord is disgusted with this place. It says a plague on all their houses and recent echoing, such as such. 
all right, harass someone continually. He was plaguing her with questions. Hey, the Most High is harassing Esau, man. Esau is harassing us. The Most High is harassing Esau. You see how it go? Eye for eye, two for two. But anyway, brothers, I'm in it there. All praises and glory on it as duty. How about you? How shy? Shalom and a baba ball.